Here I have a nice, beautiful Coco One, the 16K RAM badge. It's really nice. Uh, unfortunately, the output is not too nice. Although I like RF out, a lot of people don't. Let's take a look at that. Right now, that's the RF out on my TV. It's not bad. But still, you know, uh, there's stuff going on the screen that, uh, you know, by today's standards, would, uh, you know, not fly. And I have, you know, this Coco, which I like, and I like to use occasionally, play some games. But I would like it to have HDMI out. Now, uh, for the Coco 2, I made a little adapter board to hook up an RGB to HDMI board, or adapter rather, one of these, um, to the Coco. So I also have one for the Coco 1, and I wanted to show that off. This is the Coco 1 version. It's a little different. It's in an L shape so that it fits without having to modify that little or that big RF shield that's in there. So I will put this in and hopefully, you know, get HDMI out on this. So let's bring that up here. Okay, I've already taken the screws off. So this should come right off, hopefully. Oh yeah, there we go. That over here. And the VDG is somewhere in this area. So let's take this can off. Um, I'm gonna put my screwdriver. There it is. And so let's see. Okay, it came off easily, and here is the BDG. Let me see if I can get it on there so you can see it easier. I'll remove the RF connector here. All right, let's pull that BDG out. Came right out. Let's pop the BDG into this adapter board here. So remember to line up the divots. So I got to pay close attention because this is hard to do uh, while looking at it through my phone screen. Okay, pop that in. All right, this goes this way. All right, and so you know, it's a tight fit. That's in there, that's solid, right? And so now all I have to do is hook this ribbon cable that goes to the RGB to HDMI board in here, and it will receive power and the video signals through here, okay? And that plugs into this IDC connector here, like so. And now, let me switch the input on my TV here. I know you can't see that, but set that to HDMI now let's see if this works um, oh, oh yeah there it is turning on oh what happened there problems with the cocoa I've seen that on this cocoa before hmm. oh there we go yeah I just had to reset it. There might be a memory issue with it, but I have seen this Coco do that before in the past. And by the way, this Coco was a great deal on eBay. I think I paid um, $35 for it or something. But there you go, nice, clean, crisp HDMI. I'm gonna plug in Megabug, the requisite Megabug test. Okay. And There we go. Nice, clean HDMI out. Now, um, 
I should be able to change the phase on here by just, oh no, wrong button. That is one of these buttons. Which one is it? Is it this one? No. Well, anyways, you get the picture. Very clean, very nice, easy install. Um, you know, it looks great in there. Now, I can't, you know, put the shield on because it's taller than the shield, but I think, you know, that's a mod people will be living, I mean, willing to live with. So, yep. Yeah.